Hey guys, so we're going to go through two different methods that you can use to figure out your ACE mark size. Number one is going to be using an actual Brannock device, and then number two is going to be by printing out our sizing tool. So we've changed our sizing tool a little bit because we did add an E width now, so it's going to become a two step process. Number one, you're going to print out our, our size tool where you're going to figure out what your ACE mark's shoe size is, and then you're going to print out the width tool. We're going to figure out what the corresponding width to that size is. So please follow these instructions closely. We want, we want to make sure that you get the right fit, the right size, the first time around, and avoid exchanges. Take a look at everything we have on this page and make sure to watch this video to the end. All right guys, so here we have a Brannock device and it's a standard measuring tool that lots of shoe store use and it's been around for a very long time. All of our shoes are sized according to Brannock US sizing. Uh, you want to make sure that if you do go to a store to use a Brannock device that it doesn't have the store's brand on it. Usually that means that even though it may look like a Brannock device, it's actually a, a tool that's devised according to that particular brand sizing. So we want to make sure that it says original or standard Brannock device on the tool that they're using. And most of them look silver just like this one. So you see I have my right heel uh, aligned to where it says right heel. And you always want to take these measurements standing up. And you can see that my big toe lands around a 10 and a half. And then you can see here on the width side, put it up against the ball of my foot, the, the widest part of my foot, and I'm a 10 and a half, and I'm a pretty big D. So my ACE mark size is going to be a 10 and a half D, um, and that's measured according to the Brannock device, which is what all ACE mark shoes are sized according to. If you don't have a Brannock device, you're going to want to print out our sizing tool so you can figure out your ACE mark size that way. Since we added a D and an E width now, it's going to be a two-step process. Number one, you're going to figure out your length, your actual size in our shoes. And then number two, you're going to print out a second measuring tool, which is going to figure out your width for you. So number one over here, I always like to double check to make sure that I did print out without scaling. We have a whole tutorial about how to print this out properly, but I always like to double check anyway. So you can see my Costco card fits directly into that slot that we have for a credit card. And you're going to want to take a straight edge like a clipboard, a textbook, anything that's going to keep your foot in place. Put the back of your heel up against that edge and then you always want to stand up when you're doing this because your foot flattens out quite a bit. So you can see I'm size 10 and a half here. Now that I know that I'm a 10 and a half length, I'm going to go and print out the width tool and I'm going to choose the one for 10. So the width tools are going by full sizes. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If you're a half size, let's say 10 and a half, like in my case, you're going to actually use the size 10 width tool. If you're a size nine, you're going to go nine and a half, you're going to go with the size nine width tool. If you're a size 11 and a half, 11 width tool, and so on. If you're a size 12 and a half, 12 width tool. 13 and a half, 13 width tool. 14 and a half, 14 width tool. You guys get the idea. So let's pull out the size 10 width tool now. All right, so we're going to go through the same process with the width tool. Make sure that the credit card fits in there. I'm going to pull out my straight edge line it over here make sure you're using the correct side so right heel lined up with right heel I want to make sure that the inside of the ball of my foot is lined up with this red line over here and then I want to stand up because your foot flattens out when you do and I'm going to trace over here on the outside with my pencil pointing in a little bit to make up for the size of the pencil or pen that you're using and you're gonna see I'm right within this D width. So if I had a wider foot, I may fall into the E width line. If I was narrower, I may fall into the C width. So if you are an E width, you'd obviously be buying a size 10 and a half E if you were me. Um, if you do fall outside of the E and you're in a 2E, you're going to want to size up a little bit, probably about half a size. And what you can do is, in my case, I'm a 10 and a half. If I'd come out of 10 and a half 2E, I'd want to go and print out the 11 width tool and then get a feel for where I'm going to land over there in terms of the width. So I could, as a, as a 10 and a half double E, I'd probably want to go with an 11 and a half E. Um, but again, printing out that 11, the next size up width tool, you're going to be able to figure that out. So if you have any questions about how to figure out your width or have any issues using the sizing tool, feel free to email us at info at or happy to help you out figure out your correct size.